First thing is going to be quad tracks on your rhythm guitars. It's just recording four tracks in independent tracks. So I've got L guitar one, L guitar two, right guitar one, right guitar two. It happens to cap at a plus 63 and a minus 64 for their maximum pin. Now this is just the single stereo track. On a 100 pan on both and an 80 to 90 percent pan on the other tracks and you're going to be able to hear a huge difference now. Typically, you want to spike at 50, give it some warmth, not too much though, I've only got a plus two. You can also cut at 80 if you would like bass amps. So in Logic, you get a pretty good sound out of choosing the slap bass amp. So when you get to go into your bass amps there, uh, the slap bass gives you that clicky sound that you get out of the finger played bass, so finger style bass. And these here are all just the standard settings that were in there. I didn't manipulate any of that. And the overdrive, I just add a slight bit of drive to it just uh, to dirty up the sound and enhance the rhythm section a little bit. 13.5 um, dB on drive, output at 5 or negative 5.5 rather. So have a listen first. This is just the four rhythm tracks again, and then I'm going to add the bass guitar in after and see if you can pick out the difference, which you should have no problem. Now I'm going to add the bass guitar. Ultrabeat, which comes included with Logic, and it's actually it's a it's a pretty neat program. It allows you to take samples that are already installed with it and use those, or import your own samples and use those. So the ones I use are from Beta Monkey Double Bass Mania Two. Pretty killer samples. I like them. You know, I would recommend them to anybody if they're looking for some really good hard rock or heavy metal kind of drum samples. If you don't know how to find that, it's right where this one is. So where this blue button that says Ultra Beat is, um, it comes in the drop down menu from there, very bottom where it says Ultra Beat Drum Synth and you know, Stereo, and that's it. So I'm gonna open it and this, I'm going to show you how to be able to import your own if you don't uh, know how to use this. Um, click first the sample button at the very bottom and then this little down arrow it will allow you to load sample unload show and find or whatever it is that you're looking for but typically you'd want to load your own samples so I've already got my own which I've named as custom set in my drop down menu but you can also pick from some of the pre-programmed ones so I'm gonna use my own kit for right now and these are some of the samples that I've got in there so this is my kick drum it's a pretty powerful kick drum and snare. It's a nice snare sound too. This has all just been programmed through copy and paste and I'll show you in the piano roll as soon as this is finished. So it's not bad. It actually, it sounds very, very nice. And all I've done is I'm gonna close this up here and drag this up so you guys can see it. So this is my drum loop that you're seeing that's in there. There we go. That's the bass drums, snares. And these here are probably the rides. And uh, the way that it works is if you hit the escape button, it brings you to a lot of different tools that you can choose. So the one that you use to input is pencil, eraser will erase. You know, you've got obviously a whole bunch of different tools that you can play with that's in there. But I'm not going to go into that right now. And, uh, and that's it for the drums so far.
Logic has made it very easy to be able to present a mastered track with all the benefits that you get out of mastering in a very simple manner. So to be able to get into the mastering, you hit the settings button where my mouse is. Drag it down to the mastering tab and you just choose a mastering program that you want to run it through. So I'm not going to select any right now as I'm going to give you a demo of how the sounds are without mastering. So it sounds great as it is, don't get me wrong, but mastering can enhance that. What it does is it will widen the tracks, it will widen the final, it will widen everything, and it makes certain small nuances just kind of pronounce themselves a little bit better. So I'm selecting Final Rock, Master Wide, and have a listen. That gives you an idea on what the mastering does. And as you can see, it was very simple to get into. I hope the video was a benefit to somebody. If you guys have any questions, concerns, send me an email, send me a comment. Okay, so that was my demo on how to be able to record heavy metal. This is the final project song called Sand of Solace and Sin. I hope you guys enjoy it.